Roberta will also be interviewing Vung Nguyen, Duke Le, and Chung Bui from Song Tat Radio, the first and only lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender radio program for the Vietnamese community. I'm excited about that. <laughs> Hi, it's Brando and Greg from The Morning Show on Energy 92.7. And you're watching Outlook Video. Welcome to this segment where we honor the diversity of people in our community, people like us. I am so pleased and honored tonight to have three guests from Song Tat Radio. We have Wu Nguyen, we have Duke Lee, and we have Chun Bui, all, all from Song Tat Radio. Thank you so much for joining us this evening, and we want to learn all about Song Tat Radio. By beginning with, please, Wu, tell us what does Song Tat mean? Um, Song Tat means uh, to live truthfully. Yes, to live truthfully. That's a wonderful um, a title for your show because it's all for the LGB Vietnamese community, yes? Yes. And this is to live truthfully. What a wonderful uh, title you have. How did it come about? Oh, it come about when we, uh, we have a, we prepare, we have a, a month to prepare to, uh, for some that, uh, to experience some that. First time, uh, first thing is that we have an initial idea to have the radio program yes. on the meeting of our group. Yes. Our, group, our group at that time called the Vietnamese, American, Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender, and Friends. And we have a, in the meeting, we, we assessment, we, do, we did assessment for our um, community. And we see that because the, our Vietnamese LGBT, we feel we get the oppressed and the pressure from the Vietnamese uh, American community. Sure. Yes. And they treat us like the outcasts. Oh. And, uh, uh, the bottom of the society, and uh, we, we, they ignore us to any aspect of the community. Look like religion, uh, politics, culture, arts, and everything. And so you uh, saw this as a need in your community. Yes. So, the, in, uh, so we see that, and uh, we see for many for century, Vietnamese uh, LGBT look like live on the sorrowful and uh, hurt life, hurtful life. So we, we think we have to do something. Okay, so the, our, this is how the radio yeah, station the, the, the came, to, out. came to be. How many years have it, has it been going now? Uh, oh. about, almost 10 years because we start Ooh, from, yes. um, from March, but we start to broadcast. We have a, year, a, a month to prepare. Yes. And after that, we get postcard on November 1999. That's wonderful. That's okay. Now, Chung, you yes. do... Um, of uh, poetry, you read poetry and yes. uh, on the. Yes, I draw them air. and sometimes I write them on on the radio. Yes. Yes, and most of them are about my like, love relationship. Sometimes about childhood. Yeah. Because I think like even we are LGBT community, we still have love, we still have personality, we still have memory. Like just like straight people, yes. we still human. Yes. Yes. Yes, and uh, Duke, please tell mm -hmm. us a little bit more about the sh about the show and your part in that. Uh, well, I have been involved with Songtat uh, Radio for five years now, and uh, currently I am serving as secretary. So I am responsible for uh, writing grants or um, writing correspondences and things like that. And I also announce, uh, sometimes I read the news on the program. And so your program is v similar to Outlook Video, where uh, you do entertainment and news type of programming to your listeners. That's correct. Okay. We have about four or five segments in one hour. In one hour. Yeah. Yes. Uh, first, we have the, an editorial, okay. uh, something uh, very um, the the hot topic. Sure. The, for you want you want to uh, you want to, to make the on on the, on that week. Okay. And uh, the something the, the good news or the hot news uh, for the uh, for the LGBT community, you put on the, the show. We want the parent had to be understand the LGBT kid. Of so course. we have a letter or something to to talk about the feeling, the talk, the letter from the LGBT sent to parents, or sometimes parents sent to kids, okay. so they understand each other. So you're bringing a visibility of the Vietnamese LGBT community, yeah. as well as an understanding, yeah. and fighting homophobia all at, all at once. Uh, on the well, we'd like our viewers, we think this is absolutely wonderful, so we'd like our viewers to become listeners, and uh, take a listen to their show, which is on Sunday evenings on KSJX, uh, from 7 to 8 p.m. 
and the uh, station is at 1500 on your AM dial. 